So we'll now going to right click on the source and create a new class. The name of this new class we're going to call it create image. Public static void main finish. Integer width equals to 300. Integer height equals to 300. Buffer image. equals to new buffer image. So we're going to be creating a buffered image through Java. The size of that image will be the width and height. So we're going to be a 300 pixels by 300 pixels large image. And when we create this buffered image, we're going to be using the coloring scheme of type integer RGB. Now we're going to use a graphics 2D object so that we can draw what we want to draw into this buffer and then we're going to store the buffer as a file. So graphics 2D equals to buff image dot create graphics. Now, graphics 2D object is being used to set the color. Let's say we have color dot white. Then graphics 2D dot fill a rectangle. This is the size of this rectangle. We already learned how to create rectangles before. The first coordinate, the first two numbers are the starting point. The next two numbers are the width and the height of the rectangle. So we're going to be a 300 by 300 rectangle. Now in this big rectangle, we're going to draw a circle. So graphics 2D dot set color, color dot black, graphics 2D dot fill oval. So we're going to fill the entire rectangle with this oval so whatever area is remaining will going to be white the rest will going to be black oval filled now we're going to change the color again so once you are done release all the resources now let's save file so let's create a file object of PNG type and we have a Java built-in class called image IO which is used for inputting and outputting in images so we're going to be writing out to the through the image IO the buff image in the PNG format into this file Now, since I'm using an image I.O., it can throw an exception. So let's right click and say add throws declaration. So it'll automatically add throws I.O. exception in the line of main. So that will going to take care of that error. Similarly, as you can store the PNG files, you can very well also store um, the JPEG files. So I'm going to use the same object to do my JPEG file. Now when I run this application, nothing will happen as an output. And there should not be any errors either. Now when you refresh your project, you should now see two additional images listed in here. By SOT image PNG and SOT image JPG. So if I double click on it, See? Created an image.
So again, you can take this idea further and draw logos and prints and all sorts of crazy stuff, right? So 